You remember the dot game? How many remember the dot game? All right, up here are the negative emotions. Down here are the lies attendant, the misinterpretations. Okay, got it? Okay. Do it again. Bob, you want to do this? You want to do this? The dark, the dot game. This is why memories. This is so important for us to get. Why memories? So we, we talk about um, why do we worry about doing the right side of the map in an Emmanuel session? We can do one, two, three, four. We can change our lives and change people's lives just by experiencing Jesus in that way. But why is there this whole other side of the map? Did, does anyone ever ask that question? <laughs> it's hard work over on that side. But there's a reason. And the reason is these dots. There's this crazy thing that goes on in our lives where we have experiences that we can't handle. This, this word trauma that kind of freaks some people out. Some people say it's the worst thing, you know, worst things that happen to us. And some people say, well, that's never happened to me, so I don't have any trauma. But if we just strip it down to it, the basics, the base definition of trauma is just something that we can't handle, something that overwhelms us. And if you can think about by between birth, and actually this system's in place in the womb, but up until two years old or so, um, we are completely dependent on our primary caregiver to meet every need, right? And if I think of uh, the amount of opportunities that a, an infant would have to not have a need met, because our primary caregivers can't do it perfectly, right? So our dot game, let me start with this though, because I, I just wanna, we'll lay down some groundwork first and then we'll, we'll work from that. So the six, Jim Wilder's six primary negative emotions. Sadness, good. You're going to do them out of order because I remember in a certain way, but that's okay. I'll deal with that. And I'm going to write them up here. Anger, good. Fear. Disgust. Yep. Shame, thank you. And hopeless despair, good. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Let's play the dot game. And we're going to look at a situation of for a six month a six month old baby. And let's tell me what we don't have to go to the craziest worst things that could happen. What is something that can happen to a six month old where his needs aren't met, little Bobby's needs aren't met? Do that. Okay. So the diaper's not changed. He's, that's okay, we're, we'll do the diaper unchanged, let's just do that. But not being fed right, being hungry is another one that's certainly common. I mean, a baby's uh, thinking is, it's always been this way, it'll always be this way, right? And a, a need's not being met. They have a primal need to eat, right? Or for comfort, and it's not being met, right? So out of these six emotions, this little baby's there with a wet diaper. No one's attending to their needs, to my needs. Little Bobby, what are, what, give me three emotions that could come into play here. Okay, good. Feels hopeless, yep. And fear. That's right. Once again, this has always been this way. It'll always be this way. This person's not going to come and help me, right? It's the same thing. At the same time, what happens is now, these lies start entering in, all right? So we've got this emotional cocktail of anger, fear, and hopeless despair. And then what kind of lies could enter into a situation like this? What could this baby start to believe? Nobody, Nobody cares. That This is why it's so important to get our ongoing week, uh, weekly, ongoing healing, is that it's, it's these aggregate healings that we get that uh, we're, not even, um, we're not even working on a particular topic. You know, I may not be, I'm just working on what's there, what's present, 
and what's there is it in the present right here. I felt these emotions, and I got back into this, me into this old memory, and Jesus was there with me, and he brought healing, and it's permanent. And six months down the road of this healing after healing after healing of being with Jesus, and I realize I just don't feel that way anymore. I'm not, you know what? I used to act this way, and now I'm not anymore. It's startling. It's really fun, and it's great. And Jesus is so good, and he knows the whole system. Really good. Good job. Thank you. You can hold on to that. Um, in your session, instead of feeling what you came in with, which is the fear, anger, hopeless despair, when you get to a healing, when you get co totally connected with Jesus, what you're going to find is righteousness, peace, and joy, taking the place of whatever you've come in with. So righteousness, peace, and joy is what? Kingdom, Kingdom living. That's where you're supposed to be. So when he comes and you connect with him in a solid way, you experience healing. But on the emotional chart, it's righteousness, peace, and joy. And he's really good at it. I like that, Bob, that, you know, you, it may not be a one-on-one -on -one correspondence as far as you're concerned because, you know, sometimes you just wake up and you think, gee, I'm not depressed anymore. And I don't know where that came from other than I'm doing steady work and he's quietly taking care of one thing and another.